start right now We gotta live our life Cause we are one soul and one heart We feel it from the start right now It's okay, Winter. It's okay. I'm here. Autumn, what are we gonna do with her? I hate that she keeps having these nightmares. She doesn't deserve to suffer this. She's too young. Saint, there's nothing we can do to help it. She's in a prophecy and that's it. I am not letting our only child go in a war like this. She is too weak. She, she can't... Sage, she is going to defeat this person at 15. That is when she will defeat him. It's in the prophecy. She defeats him because she is a siren mermaid. And she's not a siren mermaid until she grows her tail, which is at 15. Whoa. I guess the only thing we can do now is make sure she's happy and spoil her. What if we lose her? What if this bloody freak kills her? What? Sage, sweetie. She's a siren mermaid. For peace's sake, she's stronger than us, combined. All we can do now is train her. No. I don't want to train her. All I want is for her to have a normal life. But she's not meant to have a normal life, Sage. It's her destiny. You can't stop her. I can and I will. <sighs> we'll let her live a normal life until she's 15, okay? But I believe this is going to have consequences. Major consequences. <sighs> Shane, if it's the last thing I do, I will bring you down. Good night, my little snowflake. I hope that your destiny isn't what this prophecy says. That's what I said when I found out that I was a siren. But we are different in many ways, Winter. For one thing, you'll be stronger than me. And if this prophecy is true, I know you can get through it. I know it.
it's about time you woke me up. I just woke up from a beautiful dream about us. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll see you then. Kiss, kiss. I wonder what I should wear today. Hmm. I think I'll go for the classic red dress. Check. No for a necklace. Hmm. All my pink will clash with the red. Gold always goes with red. I forgot earrings. A red, pink, yin or pearl. I'll go ruby. Maybe I should go for a flower. How about a red flower and a pearl? I think I'll just stick with a flower. Now I've got to figure out which purse I want to take. I don't need too much red. I don't want gold. Mm, I like this one. Morning, Mom. Morning, darling. Morning, Dad. Morning, sweetie. Would you like some cereal, too? Yes, please. Honey, your toast is done. Ooh. So, Mom. In case you want more. Why have you been so interested in the newspaper? Oh, nothing much. Just, um, found out that President Crumb's been elected, so... <laughs> Politics aren't our thing. Neither are mine. Here's a spoon. Thanks, Dad. Well, there has been a war going on, but we're not allowed to talk about it. Why? Coffee, tea, or juice? Coffee, please. And lots of creamer. Yes. Honestly, Winter, Ouch. the war is very boring. The more you listen to news, the more aggravated you get. I see. Thanks again, Dad. <coughs> no problem. What? <sighs> I've got to go to work. I love you. And I love you. Hi, Dad. Tell Sammy I said hi. Will do. Oh, and make sure Skittles is okay. Because I know he wasn't wanting to nurse. Oh, he's going to drink milk. Even if I have to get an eyedropper and jam it down his throat. Don't hurt the squirrels, Dad. Never will. Well, it's about time that I drop you off. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Hey, Lila. Hey, Winter. Just to update you, there's nothing really new going on except for, um, your boyfriend's talking to some girl. And she as ugly as swamp water. Um, okay. <laughs> You're talking about mangled. 
so are you gonna go talk to him or what i do not go to boys boys come to me if they want to talk to me if he is cheating with her he's going to have a piece of my mind being that tomorrow is my birthday hey winter can i talk to you for a second of course tell you what goes on in class okay Okay, Winter, you're breaking up with me, aren't you? Well, it's because of that dirty little flea bag, isn't it? That new girl who doesn't know how to brush her fur out? Yes, her. But you know, she is beautiful on the inside, and you aren't. I want a girl who is both pretty on the outside and the inside, and if I have to settle for a girl who's better on the inside than the outside, then so be it. But you aren't my girl. You are so selfish and rude to other people. It's sickening. Maybe if you changed into a girl who is actually nice to people, I'd like you. And I'm sorry I have to leave you because your birthday's tomorrow, but to me it doesn't really matter. Because you don't deserve to have a happy ending, if you get me. Oh, wow. I don't deserve to have a happy ending. What are you, the narrator of some story? Look, hun, how about you wake up? People like you aren't going to make it in the real world. People who actually believe that stories and happy endings exist. Well, guess what? This is the real world. Happy endings or bad endings don't exist. You make your life how you want it to, and that's how it is. So wake up from your dreaming before you end up in complete misery and miss out on the things that are beautiful, like the one you're leaving behind. Thanks, I tried to get it combed out, but <laughs> it's just so hard. It's perfectly fine. That girl doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just a know-it-all. Honestly, I just hang around her for popularity. Oh, is that so? Oh, Winter. <laughs> I was talking about... You are such a fake little flea. What were you trying to do? Cling on to me for more money? Because you're so poor you can't afford your own room and have to share it with your ugly sister. Winter! Excuse me. I just need to get all the negativity out of my life, including you, if you're going to be such a fake flea! Um, I'm gonna go. I was just about to have a friend! Oh, I wasn't good enough for you? But wait. You wanna be like this? Then I can get you out of the popular spot in a matter of seconds. Watch me. Why do so many people like you, Winter? You're such a jerk. <laughs> At least I have somewhere to go with my life. I can boss around anybody that I want to. Ugh, now I have to go to classes with losers. Winter, wait up. Great. Look, freak, I don't have time for you. The bell just rang. I'll only be a minute. Your birthday is tomorrow, correct? Yeah. And? Which is when you're about to fulfill your prophecy. You see, there's a prophecy that says that love will rule and you're in it and you're the girl who um, teams up with this other mermaid siren and you're one of them. And you're supposed to overthrow this evil dude who's been possessed by some demon. Okay. You need a mental check. And some pills. I am not in a prophecy. I am not a mermaid, and there is no such thing as fairy tales! Ugh, what is wrong with you people? Am I like the only sane person in this neighborhood? <sighs> Don't say I warned you.